There's no nicotine in what I'm about to review. It could be e-juice or it could be a product. Who knows? Let's go. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Sarcasm Vapes. About, in about to get into a line that I am excited to get into because it is right up my alley, my flavor profile. And we're going to run through every single one in this review. So if this is a little lengthy, I don't apologize. We're going to get into it. Yes, I said that. I don't apologize. Shout out to Foggin' Out with the Batman. Shout out to E&B e &B Vapor for making this review possible. Now, I'm not trying to butcher up this name, but we're going to get into the line. Sabores del Encanto. Basically... I guess the breakdown is exclusive dessert, like exclusive dessert flavors from the island of Puerto Rico. There you go. So I'm not going to keep saying this name because I'm not going to butcher it. So we have seven flavors in this line. They fancy names. But I'm glad again underneath it's broken down. Thank you. So we have, yeah, I can't do it. I'm not going to do the Spanish because I'm not going to mess it up. Pineapple rum upside down cake. Yes, all the bottles look the same, just of course the name is different on the bottom. Cream cheese flaky pastry, Nancy's flan cake, Nancy got a flan cake, coffee and milk, guava flaky pastry, pumpkin flan, and coconut rum eggnog. I know this one, Coquito, because yes, I've drank it a lot of times, so ha! When I was dripping these, I'm like, yo... Yo, but I've been disappointed before dripping something, then I taste it. I'm like, this is gross. Let's get it started. Boom. Pineapple rum, upside down cake. Flavor profile delicious, moist yellow cake with a sweet caramelized pineapple glaze. This is nice, but you're definitely getting that sweet caramel, 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 blah, blah, sweet caramelized pineapple glaze, but I'm not getting the yellow cake. But it's nice. This sweet pine, it's nice. For what, it, for what I'm getting, it's nice, but I, I would, uh, the cake aspect, I'm not getting. Um, I'm on 0.29 ohms, 69 watts. Let's go up. That pineapple. Yeah. I'm not mad. Because it's nice for what I'm getting. Again, and you're not getting a rum, so to speak. You can get like a, on like, on the end, it's not, you can get like a hint of like something trying what you can, it's like the aftertaste of a rum. It's not strong. It's 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 very minute. But I'm not getting the cake. And again, like I'm not mad because it's nice. That pineapple sweet caramel. That's nice. Okay, we're getting into canita de queso. Oh, queso's cheese. Ah, yeah. Cream cheese flaky pastry. Uh, let's see what they're giving as the flavor. Flavor profile, simple and sweet cream cheese stuffed inside a flaky pastry, then topped off with a layer of sweet glaze. Scale of 4 to 5, I'm giving it a 5. Or oh, the one before that, I'm giving that a 4 because it, I'm not getting the cake, so I'll take off one. This is nice. I could do this all day. The cream cheese boom is on the inhale. As you exhale, and you're getting that flaky paste pastry aspect. This is very nice. It's, and it says, okay, layer of sweet glaze. It's not as sweet as the pineapple, that sweetness I'm getting. I ain't met. This two different, two different profiles. This is lovely. I like this. Yeah. That could be old. <coughs> oh, day. That the cream cheese is nice. It's not, it's not, because I've had cream cheese e juice and it's just off putting. It tastes like curdled milk. Well done. Moving on. Nancy's flan cocho, cocoa, whatever. Nancy's flan cake. 
I told you I'm trying to mess this up. What is Nancy's flan cake? Flan on top. I mean, you ever seen flan? And you ever taste the sweet shit? All right, sweet flan baked on top of rich, moist yellow cake. I hate that word, moist, with a passion. 0.26 ohms, 72.4 watts. Let's go. Wow. You taste that. Wow. Wow. Yo, that's dope. You taste the flan, yo. That's dope. That's dope. I'm about to drip some more. And at the end, I'm getting the yellow cake. Why that yellow cake ain't in the first one? I'm just saying. This is nice. This is all day. Scale from the five, it gets a five. I like that. See, I mean, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like companies, you're doing e-juices. Like stick to one. Uh, this is my opinion. Stick to one category and just do it right. This is really nice. Scale one to five, give it a five. All day vape, hell yeah. This is really, wow. That's nice. Works for me. Yay, we're getting into cafe con leche. Coffee and milk, keep it simple. I was dripping this, I was like, okay. Coffee vapes ain't my, it's not my favorite profile, but I appreciate when they're done well, as in any other e-juice. Wow. That's coffee and milk. It's a nice balance. That's nice. Oh, that creaminess, that blend, y'all better work it. Fogging out with the Batman. Puerto Rico is known for its coffee and especially in the morning, but instead of using regular milk or creamers, we use, we use sweet evaporated or condensed milk. And that's what you're getting. It's got one to five, gets a five. Wouldn't be an all-day vape for me, something I would vape, yes. If you're into coffee e-juices, I would definitely, definitely recommend this one. It's a great balance. It's not too heavy on the coffee, not too heavy on the cream. The creaminess. Beautiful. Because sometimes, you know, you have coffee e-juices. Again, I appreciate them. But at the end, you have a heavy coffee taste. This is nice, yo. It's nice, yo. Yo, it's been a long time since I... <laughs> yo, since I, like, really enjoying... Well, we ain't... Let me not talk too soon. Pastel, pastelos de guava. Now, when I saw it, I was like, guava. I'm like, oh, God, guava. When I was dripping this, I was like... And I tasted it, I was like, holy shit. I'm shocked. So what we have here is a guavy flaky pastry. Rich and sweet guava paste inside a delicious flaky oven baked pastry and topped with powdered sugar. This is amazing. Companies, if you're trying to do a guava e-juice, I say you taste this one. You try to do this or make it better. This is nice. Because it ain't heavy on the guava. You taste the gua, you know, you have that, but the flaky pastry, this is just, what they say, good things, what they say, good things come to those who wait. I'm glad he took his time with this line, because girl, that's amazing. You get the guava, but the guava's not off-putting. The balance, the blend, chow, chow, we got pumpkin flan. Yo. Oh, wow. So we got pumpkin flan. This is not your traditional van vanilla flan. Flan. This is a great grandma's recipe of your soft, sweet, mouth-watering flan, but made from pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie either, so no spices added. And I can appreciate that. You're not getting no cinnamon and nutmeg. Nah. This is different. The pumpkin lingers. It takes... It's ling It's like at the end, you, you t like I'm talking, I'm just tasting the pumpkin. And the pumpkin changes on the inhale and on the exhale. This is nice. That flan too, this... Yo, this line is... I'm impressed. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Mm. 
and it's light on the pumpkin. It, well, again, it doesn't have the spice, so you're not getting that. Yeah, because I mm, can't do it. Last but not least, ah, oh, I saved the best for last. They say, let's see. I know what a coquito tastes like, and coquitos, coquitos are amazing. I mean, it sends me to the toilet, but this won't. So the coquitos, coconut rum eggnog. Now there was rum, supposedly in the um, the pineapple rum upside down came. You tasted more in the coquito, which you would hope because yeah, that's one of the elements. This is where am I? Para para para. This is not the eggnog you may be accustomed to. This has the exquisite accent from rich coconut milk with Puerto Rican moonshine all bottled up to make everyone's Christmas a little more jolly. This right here is a recipe that has been passed down through generations so the tradition never dies. Like I told you, I've had actual coquito. You definitely get that con con coconut. Like I said, you get the rum and you get the eggnog. On the inhales, the coconut, on the exhale, that the rum comes in and, and the eggnog. Surprisingly, not my favorite out of it. No, it's, it's, it's good, but, I, you know, but my favorite out of the line. I love the cream cheese, flaky pastry. I love them all, but my favorites. The cream cheese, flaky pastry. Nana's, excuse me, Nancy's flan cake, guava flaky pastry, and the coffee and milk. Those are my top. The other ones are great as well, but those are my top. You know, if somebody was getting this line and, you know, wondered what to get, if your flavor profile is like mine, flavor profile is like mine, those are the ones I'd recommend. The coquito is nice. I just wish, I mean, I wish the eggnog aspect was a little bit heavier. You taste, you taste all of them. None of them is fighting each other, but... Me, knowing my flavor, my taste for Samantha, I just wish the eggnog was just a little bit more. But you get all three, and I get all three as it is listed. Coconut, rum, eggnog. I don't get a rum, coconut, eggnog, or eggnog, eggnog, coconut, rum. I get it as it's listed. Anyway, shout out to Foggin' with the Batman and EMB for making this review possible. If you're looking to get into this line, I highly suggest it. If your flavor profile is like mine, I highly suggest it. I ain't getting paid for this shit. You know, I ain't got, I ain't here for it. If it ain't good, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank y'all for checking out the review. All information is down below where you can get the product for yourself. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. <laughs>